We got why the world without sharks might be your biggest nightmare featuring Simba the Future Skrillionaire here, you know what I'm saying? Future Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Skrillionaire for real. Skr- I like that. Skrillion. Tight shit, tight shit. All right, let's get it. Answer the question, man. Yeah, let's see what this. Uh, let's see what this talking about. Remember when I said I'd show a cactus my uvula before I go out into the ocean? Oh. Yeah, it was a tough cactus. Oh, hey, okay. Wow. Okay. I don't went swimming with sharks to see them in person. No, Jaws really ruined sharks for everybody. Yeah, quite literally. What do you mean? Because, like, Jaws portray sharks as, like, bloodthirsty murderers, which they are. Okay. But, like, just, they're, for the most part, they're, like, non-aggressors unless, like, they think you're food. So like, I mean, yeah, Jaws. Still bite their leg off. Bro, so, the way they bit that, that 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 lady, it looked it looked like that whale that had a bite. Miss, I'm sorry. Yeah. Bro, it yeah. was it was like a, the real cartoon. Like it was like a chunk. Like uh, it had the little like spike. Tom and Jerry, yeah. we got right? butt bit. Yeah, yeah. That, they, yo, it took a a, a haunch. They challenge. might not be as bad as Jaws, but, but they, they still, still bad. Yeah. yeah, they just not malicious. Either. Facts, 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 facts. Person and instead almost saw Steve Irwin. Shout out to the goat. That aside, I'm gonna make you like sharks in Did this video. But before things get better, first they gotta get worse. So, thalassophobic's warning here's the part where it hurts. Oh man. That's a jellyfish. Seeing that when you're on the surface of the that's, water is insane. Yeah, bro, insane. bro, if he, you think he'd die if he touched that type of jellyfish? Oh, for sure. Bro, jellyfish scary. Bro. Cause like that whole, this whole is, is what, or, electric. Uh, electric? I thought it was poison. I thought it was a sting. I thought, yeah, like an electric sting. I thought it was oh, oh. Ooh, some yeah. type of sting. Yeah, you gonna yeah. die. You touch this whole thing, you're cooked. Or if you go to Australia in a real small box jellyfish. Ah, oh, man. Bro, Australia's, I, Australia's never seeing me, bro. It's mega death. The Water's not for sure. Oh, uh, bro, Australia is not. I need a million dollars to even step off the plane for real. That's terrifying. That's it's all the Yeah, Honest I get the question. Fun. Has there oh. ever been a horror movie about jellyfish? It's not like Poseidon didn't. I'd watch it. We got one to cook. Mm. Another, another movie, another mm. movie. Mm. We've been, we've been brainstorming. Source material. You're looking at, unironically, one of the worst sites in nature, a jellyfish bloom. It's a problem for many oh. reasons. One, it's basically a bath bomb from Shade Dawn, but also because it's one of the last signs the ocean gives before it hits the point of no return. When a huh? part of Neptune's neighborhood falls apart and can't support the animals in it, the last step usually involves getting gentrified by jellyfish, since what? the same conditions that are unlivable for most are usually where Satan's shopping bags thrive. And don't think because you're on land you're safe. Not only have these blooms caused legit power outs, but about half of the oh. oxygen on Earth comes from the same phytoplankton huh? these blooms eat. So why am I talking about jellyfish in a video that was shark eating about shark, sharks? Shark well, if you're scared of one, you should probably thank the other. Sharks are the ocean equalizer, keeping other animals uh, on oh. their spot at the top of the food web, n- near the top. Of the Damn! 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 That boy didn't stand a chance. In line Not, bro, you see how fast he was going? The top of the food web, n- near the top. Of the the yeah, Basically, you're... sharks eat the big fish that would eat the little fish that would eat the jellyfish polyps. The ocean is a Jenga tower, and sharks are the one block that can bring it all down. Now, it's not as simple as I just made it sound, where no sharks automatically means more ocean acne, but you really don't realize how fast the sea would fold without sharks. That is until you realize what their actual day looks like. Sharks aren't just the equalizer, they're the cleanup crew, mostly going around picking off the dead. Oh, okay. Okay. That do make makes sense. Because <laughs> it's, it's there at the end of the day, they're a scavenger. Kind of like. You won't see them chasing around small fry that probably aren't even worth it. The same way you probably wouldn't drive 45 minutes for a bag of chips. I hope True. that's why. If you want to check your ego, swim Ooh. in a shiver of sharks and watch how hard you get ignored like J-Lo in the Bronx. Right, boy, I was surrounded by the lobby of sharks and the closest I Yeah, <laughs> no cap. It boy, would be no cap. You know, how, you know like blood in the water? is <laughs> Blue! What is that? Oh, I had a, the sharks away. I had a, I had a, I had a mud bath <laughs> The fence mechanism in that bitch. Thanks, bro. Got to becoming a hashtag was the ocean slamming me against the bars like I owed it something. It was like an MMA cage match with Mother Nature that got way too personal. I wonder why. But yeah, the sharks could not care less about me. They really do treat you like an NPC. I did learn that because sharks can detect electromagnetic fields, if you start the GoPro deep enough, you can say you booped a shark. Just know, that was the most action I got all day. And if more people realized how often they get snubbed by sharks, even when they're right under us, you'd realize why you're statistically more likely to get flattened. And yo, with this shit, like, you just never see it because the water's so dark, but then. Just chilling. Just chilling. I want to know why that shark bit that chunk out that lady. It bit multiple people. I want to know why. 
I think it was one shark. I think it was one shark in the area. Was he just like starving? He was mad. I think it was crashing out. You are mine. Yeah. I'm the apex predator. I am poison. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Oh my god. Uh, he was for sure crashing out. Or even past tense while putting socks on. Oh, I thought that was real. Oh. Please stop. You wouldn't stop going over there. But why are sharks so scared? Nigga, actually, you want to scare me? I'll be with permatite, but honestly, I think it's deeper than that. That's sharks, snakes, that's spider, or be with no. permatite. But honestly, Come here, duck. Bro, this stupid fuck, this stupid fuck attacked the duck while it was going, bro. How about my mother? Not Aaron. Oh, not Aaron. Not Aaron. I was pointing a little bit, my bad. It's all right. But my dog, he point, he fucking attacked the duck while we was and on base. Body slam the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how you bite something and then hold it down? Like, god damn. And then I'm like, ah! New meat, new meat. F -Y. I'm all out there having a panic attack and shit. Yeah, I think it's deeper than that. Sharks, snakes, and spiders. These are the oh. arguably three most feared animals on Earth, and it's likely because okay. we're hardwired to be afraid of them. Yeah. Snakes are legless, cold blooded reptiles, and even I'm not scared of snakes. I am. The other red I'm, spiders have that, too many times. That bitch is huge. Show up too many times man. in people's business to ever get good grades. Woo! Man, I, what the I hell? knew it was coming. That's oh. right. <laughs> Oh, it got me. I bet he got time, bro. bro. He got me, bro. I usually don't get caught by those, <laughs> but I was really like, making like, fun of me, bro. I really am, bro. I was like, oh, he caught. The, what, what is? Why the hell got thirteen legs, <laughs> bro? It just coming. Alright, dang, bro. The of the unknown. What's what it's like? Is an endless, oh my god. That could wipe I can't say it with nothing you could do about it. And projections a hell of a oh, thing. Oh, oh, fear often gets put on the apex predators of. Fish on red. Not nah, fool. <laughs> it's Brucey. <laughs> That's a problem right there. Oh you my the sharks God. And instantly think of another Jaws. Ain't that the movie? So maybe you should yeah. see the sharks that don't make the big screen. This is a zebra shark. It's a cinnamon roll of a fish. Hey guys, you want to go bite? <laughs> I ain't mean, got me to tell you, but I'll do my bad. <laughs> this. <laughs> I do my bad. I wouldn't call my fish fish today. Oh my it's a God. zebra shark. It's a cinnamon roll of a fish that is somehow He's patting it. Look at it. A donkey it's named after. The zebra shark is the beginning of sharks getting the sea dog allegations. And arguably the most dangerous <laughs> thing about them is their front face. If nature oh. wanted me to take the thresher shark seriously, they shouldn't have given them such an unseriously pair of eyes. <laughs> it does not matter. That's side eye. It's crazy. Look at it. You know, hey, does that, does that fish not look British? I don't know. I didn't explain it, but that fish look British. Like a British baby. <laughs> Amazing oh. toast. Who oh. 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 The queen. Who <laughs> <laughs> They really need an adult. Now they do kill prey by delivering Damn. the victim slaps with that Damn. tail. Damn. With the tail? He's just a baby. I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff about the salmon shark, but honestly, all I can think of is that they're the baby Looney Tunes G-rated version of the Great Whites. <laughs> that bullet is a shark with no regard for the laws of nature, using special fins to literally walk on land. And what? when sharks wake up with student loans, taxes, and only what? two weeks vacation, what it's all going to be looking at? Him. What the Bro. fuck? That nigga said... <laughs> Get out of here! I won't be human. <laughs> I run it out there, man. The spinner shark, even oh, though it's okay. hunting, I can't not laugh at how unserious this is. The what? nervous this shark is literally named after how terrified they are of anything human. And whale sharks are unbelievably wholesome for a bus sized fish with teeth. Bro, whale size. sharks are terrifying. Speaking of whale sharks, you got other plus size like, filter fish like throw the basking go? shark. They're about 30 feet long, the second biggest shark, and they're really only a threat oh. to your mental health. Especially since a lot of plesiosaur panic can get traced back to a dead basky. Then oh. there's the mega mouth shark, which honestly probably would be ah. scary. If you didn't know, it's also a giant hear me out. pushover that lives in the forgotten hear, hear, corners of the Yosha. Okay, tell me. Hear me out. Mega mouth. Mega mouth shark. I feel like it can get the job done. I'm just saying. More than enough room. That's your friend. That's your friend. That's your friend. Look, just look at it, bro. That's your friend. When does it what become too, when does it become too, too much. much room? What a, it's well, first like, of all, why are we talking that's about like throwing you, a hot you dog down a hallway? Why you face fucking the fucking shark? A gut? What the fuck were you? What was on your know, brain? Bro. A gut? Face fucking a, you know. Uh, but anyway, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. I can slide all the way in there and then get down to that little hole down at the bottom. But what is? How is that? even comfortable anymore 
I don't know. Like worth a shot. This nigga said. Yeah, he's that's nope. a cap. The hole is a goal. <clears throat> yep. He gonna fuck he's it. Like, I just want a nut for real. Mm-hmm. Would be scary if you didn't know it's also a giant krill eating pushover that lives in the forgotten corners of the ocean. Uh-oh. Then you got the sharks you forget oh. are sharks. Whoa. Imagine you're at the shore and someone screams shark. Whole time they're pressed over a tasseled wabagum, a type of f- carpet shark that takes the name literally Bro. by living its life as a homicidal rug. Here you <laughs> have the smallest shark in the world, the lantern shark. There's a sawfish that. Uh, Whoa, nah, really nah that. Really well. that that bitch is terrifying. What are you doing, sir? That bitch will cut your leg off, yeah. man. A nice it's little... not actually a shark. It's a ray related to a shark. But don't worry, because this is an actual shark. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That gotta be... At this point, it's conducive. Bro, I don't know what the big man was doing up there. He was just having fun. He was just doing shit. Yeah. You know that song? Let's, let's put it on the song. Oh, uh, yeah. Put, oh, you remember that chainsaw Ricky had the other day? Let, put that face on that nigga yeah. right there. Put it on the fish. Put it on the fish. You sure, my lord? <laughs> You sure? Uh, They're not, not gonna expect to come. <laughs> Two of the same traits, that's convergent evolution. And you can't forget nurse sharks being so unproblematic. Why they all the same color? Around people. Nigga, oh, is that's it a... people? That's people. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. It is people. It is people. This is a fucking. Was that a damn uh, vampire evolution. shark? And you can't forget nurse sharks being so. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and curious around people, scientists called it the Labrador of the sea. Is that I'm a child? glad they did, because now we get to go down to where? Ra- that is a child. I don't think that's rabbit a child. hole sharks being. Do- I think that's an adult. This, this right, right here? Yeah. yeah, it just got speedo on or tidy whities. Okay. Dogs and cats at the same time. The poor beagle is a shark named after a porpoise and a beagle. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either, but okay. we'll get back to that. Dogfish were named after fishermen apparently watching them chase smaller prey in packs. Like dogs, but some dogfish are also cat sharks, and they got their name from the vertical feline-coated eyes. Like the small spotted cat shark is also at the same time called the lesser spotted dogfish. Google says okay. there's over 150 species of. I, I'm, it's too much. It's too many things. It's, down. it's, it's pretty cat much sharks. the same thing, just with different yeah, names. It's too many things, including down the chain but, cat shark or chain dogfish, fu- of course. Their biggest flex is they can glow green oh, through not- biofluorescence. And they're not the only ones. It turns out over 50 species of sharks, like kite fin and swell sharks, can light up. That's about 10%. All right, what, sh- what are these even shark qualifications at this yeah, point? That's, yeah, nigga, I want to see what? 35 rows of teeth and a killing machine. Because all the sharks didn't have Fighting a lot of killer whale. Yeah, what's the qualification? That's a great question. What qualifies? Oh, like maybe it's like their bones, like they're the type of bones. Because don't sharks have like a different type of bone? I don't know. I know their teeth are inward. If I'm not mm. mistaken, or is it no? Because there's a shark with a. And there's teeth. teeth. There's sharks without teeth. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's their bone. Oh shit, we'll see. Or maybe the amount of fish. They ugly. That's what it is. Yeah, ugly yeah. motherfuckers. Sharks and some actually use a light to hide. That might sound confusing, but if you're a predator in the crotch of the ocean, all you have to do is look up, and anything that looks like a shadow against the light of the sky is probably your next victim. Oh, that's However, great. if you can take a cue from a lightsaber, you can blend into the skylight and basically disappear. In oh. fact, counter shading is a concept most sharks borrow from, and it basically means if you're above them, then the darker roof blends into the darker That is that's brilliant. Them, like under them. Boy, these oh. motherfuckers, mega murderers. That's why they can't see them above. Oh. That's why they can't see them above. Oh my god, that's so smart. I didn't ever think of that. That's okay. 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 Holy I'm shit. Saying. Okay. Okay. Hey, man. You picking and putting where it need to be. Oh god, brain, the cogs is turning. Right. Belly matches the sunlight hitting the water. And when you think about it, a lot of animals yep. use this strategy to solve problems. Yeah. But some take it a step further because scalloped hammerheads are scientifically proven to tan themselves if they see. Even the hammerhead, the hammerhead is like the song. Some say recruiting melanin like, what, is what nature's is that? way of keeping. I, yeah, I don't know. How does that, that even form? How does that improve? How is that a development that <laughs> helps you in the water? Superhead built like a Corvette. Bro, that's <laughs> where, bro. You know what I think about, bro? How does their brains right. process like the image? <laughs> What the eyes? Like, what the eyes connected to? They way over here. Like, how does that? Like, can they both see like 180 degrees and together? And they just see like the, of, like the optical, like yeah, on top of yeah. the water type shit. Like, how does that look? Do they swim like F1 drivers. You mean like fast like, reactions? Yeah, like, so I believe so. In shallow, sun-exposed water. Some say recruiting melanin is nature's way of keeping them from getting eaten by their own kind by making it easier for the smaller babies to hide. Wow. So they get they can like get darker as they get older. Got a little off track. I want to apologize for it, but the point is, if you're what still afraid of is, sharks, what is that? That's a shark. Maybe you should subvert your. I got eyebrows and, it got, and cheeks. I was about 
about to say. It's <laughs> fat cheeks. Especially since some sharks aren't even full-time predators. The bonnet head shark is like a hammerhead with performance anxiety. It's also an omnivore that eats seagrass in an experiment 60% of its diet included the green stuff. <laughs> Whale yes. sharks are also partly grass-fueled, and a study from Forbes found that half of what goes through them are plants like algae and sargassum. Okay, so maybe you're still afraid of sharks. Maybe it'd help if you knew what our sharks afraid of. There's only one thing that can send the star of Jaws oh packing, and you already know it's orcas. Yeah. The whales are known to mutilate yeah. very much. Damn. Damn. Often that's all they take. Ooh, the sharks have been so beaten down that Monterey Bay science has found that great whites off Fairlawn Islands will abandon their favorite hunting grounds for up to a year if they run into the assault cetacean once. Damn. Researchers have even seen a year. Orcas they they the a-holes of the sea. Bro, oh, they bro. Are you know what I, I wonder? Is there something out there that hunts them? Right, because you can't always just be the apex. Yeah, player. there has to be. What would hunt them? What is big enough and powerful we, enough? We, we don't know. Megalodon. Boy, if we had a Megalodon, we'd be so fucked. Bro, Boy, do you cruise think ships? Cruise ships? <laughs> a big old snack. Bro. But question though. Yeah. You remember how, what was it? It was It was actually in Meg. You mm -hmm. watched Meg? Mm -hmm. I watched both one and two. Did you watch that one? Yeah. So you know how it was like that Shout other leg. Like Sorry. We're both bolding in the same pile. <laughs> Okay, so you know how there was that ocean under the ocean. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's real? That is real. Like, no, but like, I know there's like water. Oh, you under, mean like, like some living? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That should be fucking crazy. It's gotta be something down Because you gotta think about it. We literally have nothing yeah. strong enough to go to the depths yeah, of the ocean. Yeah. Anything past a certain thing, it literally crushes. Like, past a certain point in the water, it fucking Titanic part two. Yeah. Oh, there was one. That's... <sighs> mean wow. I, didn't I didn't mean and they were in the sub too. That's wow. not what I meant, I promise. Wow. I just speak but that's what I mean, like just <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh He's trying to save it. But like even like submarines, like US submarines, Russian submarines, they can't go past it because it will implode. Implode. Yeah. <clears throat> so like we don't have anything strong enough built to withstand that pressure as well as have a human or something in it that can record data and be retrieval. Yeah. It's so crazy how much technology has advanced we still can't get that done. But we can shoot the hell out of some stars. Shooting and stars and what nuclear bombs and shit but can't figure out what's in the water. Bro, and that's what I, I think and the, the scary part is I think about it sometimes. Say for example it's something <laughs> down there, right? Uh -huh. What if just how we can't get below certain parts it can't come up? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that. And like say for example stuff like global warming. What if global warming can adjust the water in a way where it rises enough or warms enough to where it's a more of a blend and they, they don't want that yeah and i think about that bro that's oh and then they purposely don't go under there or some like yeah because it'll fix it or some shit gotcha wait what what wait what did huh? you say global warming wait. i was saying global warming because like the actual wa the water temperature could rise oh and it'll it can, fuck it up yeah and okay, it could cause it to it could throw off <laughs> the balance i thought you were saying water. like it'll go down there and the government don't want to go down no 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 it can like, fuck up the balance of the water okay, to where they okay, can't okay. come up okay so like, i was that thinking, shit, that I was shit thinking the other way conspiracy the theory because it's also nigga we still um, we're still finding animals to this day to this dark bugs it's, imagine how many bugs we don't know exist bro bro facts also fun fact this will haunt you the rest of your life um there's enough ants on the planet for if they ever became sentient, we all oh, could yeah. die in one night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could fuck us up. And one, and I would believe, I'd believe it. And one single night, every human alive would die. I believe it. Yeah. Sweet. But there are also, there's a lot of them in places where we aren't, like rainforests. But well, there's also a lot of them in places where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, FBI gonna come get us. Nah, yeah. don't get me. I, I we thinking too much. The sounds of orcas on loop to keep sharks away from beaches. Wait, and what? Wait. Researchers have even started playing the sounds of orcas on loop to keep oh. sharks away from beaches. And imagine minding your own business wow. in a hairless iPhone monkey. You know, first of all, first of all, first hairless of all, iPhone, iPhone monkey. monkey. I'm using that. I'm using that. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. Imagine we are playing that, and that actually calls the orcas to you. Oh. Oh. Right. The orcas on loop to keep sharks away from beaches and imagine minding your own business in a hairless iPhone monkey plays your ops anthem. And I wouldn't call it fear, but both dolphins and sea lions have been known to bully great whites by abusing the always superior power of friendship. Okay, now I just feel bad for them. Bull Damn. sharks are honestly the closest thing to the stereotype, and they have about the highest testosterone levels of any animal. Yeah, Damn. even more than a down bad elephant. And even the bull shark has fears, and its biggest are crocs. 
They often frequent huh? the same what? waters, and the rageaholic of sharks gets a severe no. attitude adjustment. No, don't get it twisted. An adult bull shark can give a croc problems, but crocs will prey on baby bulls enough to make the sharks avoid. Yeah, no, look, at that, uh, look at that. Look at that motherfucker. Huge. Terrible. I, shit, I wouldn't but touch that shit either. Smelling. They've also gotten sent packing by hippos, but by far the strangest thing sharks are afraid of. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. No what? There was bubbles? a very real rabbit hole of the most notorious underwater predators getting pressed by some bubbles, with hammerheads and tiger sharks reportedly really uncomfortable with the bubbles from scuba tanks, and scientists even working on making bubble curtains to use as a type of bug spray uh, for sharks. Wow. Which is funny. It's Wouldn't it make sense? Because if you don't, if you blow air... Oh, so it might look like an orca. Wait, no. Mm -hmm. no. Orcas don't have holes. No, I'm saying, like, don't, if you blow oh, air... It probably like, mess with they, they, they breathing or something. Yeah, like, they can, they not drown but they can suffocate of air getting their gills. Isn't that what I heard? I don't know who I heard that. Like, yeah, they can, you know, suffocate because of the air, but it won't be enough to, like, kill them. Probably super uncomfortable. Yeah, probably uncomfortable. Until I realized dolphins probably just have oh my to God. messed up. That's if you want the definition of irony, it's spending 400 million plus years predator maxing just to get stressed by a SpongeBob scene transition. So place a <laughs> <laughs> off and you'll keep sharks away with the wrong playlist and you might just bring sharks to you. Sharks are attracted to heavy death metal music because apparently the vibrations and beats sound just like struggle or injured fish. Oh. Sharks are like the morgue of the sea, and dive operators like Matt Waller will use music as a Batman symbol to attract sharks. Their favorites? According to him, ACDC, You Shook Me All Night Long, and Back in Black are the best at getting their attention. I thought he was about to say so Back in Blood. Yeah. I was just I like, like sharks like so poop? Sharks like poop? Why did they put the big holes in the cage? That's a good-ass question. I think so they could uh, stick their gear out. Because I don't think the but sharks then, could get fully through those holes. Can't get fully through, but we like, get it enough. enough. That motherfucker right there is getting to that hole. He want to get in that hole. That sounds crazy. I right, go back. Go back a little bit. That sounds from the insane. Outside, the outside, because they show the outside view. Of yeah, yeah. yeah. Look how, come on, nah, bro. that big motherfucker not getting in there. He getting, he, he getting, getting at least mouth, his mouth, mouth in yeah, there. Yeah, he getting his mouth in there for sure. Come on. Enough man. to back you into the other side of that cage. Well, maybe not, because there's a bar around it. You see it? Uh huh. So it's like he probably get this much in, you know what I'm saying? Now if it was if this yeah. wasn't here, yeah. they'd really be like, you know. Fuck, yeah. I mean symbol to attract sharks. Their favorites, according to him, ACDC, you shook me all night long, and back in black are the best at getting their attention. So are certain colors well, for a while. It was widely believed that oh, the yeah, single sure. worst color to wear if you're afraid of sharks is yellow. And in fact, it was what? nicknamed Yum Yum Yellow for how wearing it could turn you into a literal snack. The Damn. truth is, sharks are likely colorblind, with only one color cone in their eye to R3, meaning they see the world in black, white, and shades of gray. Now what they can see is contrast, and anything that stands out against the ocean blue immediately gets their attention. Ah. Now let me ask you a question. Gotcha. You think sharks get silly? Uh, like, like you think in 400 oh, yeah. million years of being alive, they figure out how to <laughs> Well, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Two for flinching, nigga. <laughs> Come back yeah. and nibble them. Like, like you think in 400 million years of being alive, they figure out how to have fun? <laughs> well, remember the poor beagle? Scientists peep that the shark named after a dog will roll around in kelp, toss it around like a football, and even take turns chasing each other. Great reef sharks sink if they don't swim, so they'll often swim against current updrafts in order to surf and basically take a break from the whole just keep swimming thing. Well, what's crazy is they have a conveyor belt system where once one shark reaches the end of the line, it'll let the current carry it back to where it started. You could say it's just them saving energy, but is that not the same energy as this? Sharks have been fighting stereotypes like a boxing match for years. Are they holding hands? The closest thing to an uppercut yeah. they got is the fact that sharks have friends. In 2023, researchers found that two great whites, Simon and Jekyll, had traveled more than 4,000 miles together after being first tagged off the coast of Georgia in 2022, Damn. eventually ending up in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, just off New Brunswick, Canada. It shows you Damn. how little you know about them because a couple Damn. years ago, that's a long this, way. That is a fucking distance. And how long? Six months? July. Just swimming. Damn. They, damn. They was moving, bro. Hey, friends, for real. Yeah. Jesus. In the Gulf of St. Lawrence, just off New Brunswick, Canada. It shows you how little we know about them, because a couple years ago, nobody would believe the final boss of sharks was down for a travel buddy. Shark scientist Yannis Papastamachiu linked up with researchers from the That is a name. That boy got a name and a nose on him. That's a name and a nose. That boy got a strong feet. 
I bet you he a, like a doctor. Charlotte Begay. Angel <laughs> Y'all got some names in this motherfucker. Hawaii, Exeter, and UC Santa Barbara. To study reef sharks in a palmyra atoll to uncover the secret social circle of sharks. What they found was that these sharks have a literal social circle, with the same sharks hanging out together in the morning, separating and going about their business during the day, only to meet up again later. Mm. Not y'all meeting up in the water in a break room. room. <laughs> day after day like a high school lunch table, and these friend groups lasted the entire four-year study. And it's not just reef sharks. By night, nurse sharks hunt alone, but during the day, they join cuddle parties of up to 40 in order to save energy. Oh. It must work, because white tips also power a nap as a stack pack. Wow. Sand tigers are like sea coyotes, where they're fusion fish. Did you fish know sand tigers and great nurse sharks are the same thing? I didn't know. I didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I, yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> they have a close network of sharks they associate with, and even... They can exist in groups or are uh... Alone or in pairs, whatever is most convenient. The sharks still meet up with multiple times a year. Scientists now believe that if a shark has their version of a best friend, it's usually someone that's roughly the, the same size, the same sex, and about the same age. Which would explain Simon and Jekyll. But now the real question is, can sharks form bonds with people? And the answer, like everything else, it's yes. complicated. Lemon sharks are not only famous for having favorite divers, but for getting jealous and overprotective when they see that diver around others. Oh, Even wait, what? What's for that having favorite top? divers, but for getting jealous and overprotective. Probably shouldn't have to say this, but don't go cuddling sharks, or at least don't blame me if you do. Right. Yeah. Like, right. Come on now. You see that diver around others. If a nurse shark is a Labrador, a lemon shark's a golden retriever with gills. Oh Here's my, my God. thing. Now, sharks will form partnerships with other fish like remoras and pilot fish. Well, they'll pick parasites off the sharks, so this could just be a lemon guppy treating a person like any other cleaning service. Yeah. Funny thing about pilot fish, sailors who saw them would swear they and sharks would act like close friends. And there's even stories of pilot fish chasing sharks ships for weeks after they caught one of their sharks, apparently seeming distressed and anxious without them. Oh, and wow. you probably wouldn't believe that if something like that didn't happen with a person. In 2001, shark conservationist Jim Abernathy removed a hook from the mouth of a tiger shark named Emma. 20 years and several more hooks later, and Jim and Emma might as well be a married couple, with Emma still recognizing and rushing up to Jim even after up to a Damn. year apart. And we're not talking about yeah. sharks. That's a 14 foot garbage disposal with the personality of a lap dog. We don't know for sure if sharks could feel affection like one, but it honestly wouldn't be a surprise. Since sharks are intelligent enough to be trained like dogs. What? Eugenie Clark was an ichthyologist Whoa. named Shark Lady who taught lemon sharks how to push a target and ring a bell for food, and they even learned how to tell apart different shapes and colors. Some aquariums in the UK train sharks to roll over. Oh, scientists are fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like you bold as, as fuck. You treat you train a demon in the water. Mm -hmm. a, de uh, bruh, a water predator. Literally. You know so, what? I'ma train him. <laughs> Literally what? Like you know what it is? You know what it is? It's always a white woman. That, that yeah. hero complex is yeah. hey, Amen. Till Shamu turn on you. <laughs> I'm just, saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Play with you. Oh, I'm gonna drown her today. <laughs> It'd be real funny if she does play. I know that she can't stay under here. There are different shapes and colors. Some aquariums in the UK train sharks to roll over and respond to wow. signals and commands the same way Pavlov conditioned dogs. And gray bamboo sharks also figured out how to tell apart different shapes, even when researchers tried tripping them up with optical illusions. And even after 50 weeks, they still remembered their training. It really shouldn't be a surprise. Sharks were around back when Saturn was bumping Beyonce and preying on a ring. Sharks are no dummies. You gotta respect that they might be the biggest flex nature ever made. That sharks can literally track. That, that is a crazy no bump. Dummies. You gotta respect that they might be the big <laughs> biggest flex nature ever made. That, yeah, that nigga got a crazy. Homer Simpson mouth. Oh my Sharks God. can literally track your heartbeat through electrical reception. They have a built-in GPS. They have replaceable fluoride-coated teeth that can't get cavities. Some uh, like the green yeah. shark. Hey man, hold on. I need a couple of them. I'm gonna put a man, one big two big ass shark. I'm gonna do. Remember uh, the lizard? What? The lizard from uh, Spider-Man? <laughs> he, he stuck himself with lizard DNA. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give me a great white. Come here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get hey, hey, hey. Act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> oh, shit. Hundreds of years. You can Wait, find sharks. What? Babies. Some like the Greenland shark can live for a legit hundreds of years. You can find sharks oh. at the very bottom of the ocean, under an active volcano, what? and even swimming in River Thames. Okay. And I honestly don't know what to be more impressed by. Really, the only weakness sharks have is they can be put in a trance like paralysis just by getting rotated. Get rotated the tonic and mobility <laughs> is usually triggered by pressing down on the snout, but sharks can induce it in some painfully awkward situations. Um, Humans usually only put sharks on standby to study and tag them. Meanwhile, orcas do it to steal their organs like a black uh, magic virgin. Oh, this time, I'm not going to call them an oppressive uh, Oreo. 
because we do something way worse. Shark finning is the practice of cutting off the hey! fins and tossing the now mutilated shark back into the sea, where hey! their only option is to slowly drown or bleed to death. Depending wow, on the shark, why? that can take an excruciating two hours. Wow. And this is a fate that follows not hundreds, but up to a hundred million sharks why? a year. Holy all for something shit. Gordon Ramsay called me. At the end of the day, we get wait for a full oh, million for sharks a uh, year. All for something Gordon Ramsay. Just Ram eat the whole thing. Just, just, yeah, just cook the whole damn shark. It's really bizarre because it tastes of nothing. The broth is good, but it can have anything in there, chicken duck. So the shit is ass. Yeah. And you still... At the end of the day, we gaslit sharks like no animal has ever seen. We put up every World War combined numbers on them every trip around the sun. Meanwhile, sharks might get 10 on a good year. In Damn. fact, you can argue that for all the shark slander, humans have the highest KD ratio against them. No other wild animal gets done this dirty. Moral of the story? You know it's bad when the author of Jaws, Peter Benchley, would go on to regret writing it and dedicate the rest of his life to shark conservation. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'm gonna be posting the full GoPro footage of me swimming with sharks. Nothing too crazy. But other than that, make sure you drink water, oh, yeah. hug your mother, R.I.P. Peter Benchley. R.I.P. Eugenie, and yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Right, hey man, don't right video, bro. Is he dancing with yeah. the shark? He is dancing with the shark. <laughs> For sure. Hey man. Don't do video, man. What they need to do, simple. Subscribe, nigga. Right? Like this like joint. The, oh, yeah, like the video like for sure. Like this joint. Um, and they go subscribe to the other page oh, that God. you, you know what I'm saying? Simba to God. More Simba to God. Simba yeah. to Gamer. Yeah. Internet City. Internet City Live. Yeah. Internet City Gaming. Yeah. What's the other ones? Yeah, that's, it. that's it. City Boys. Oh, that's City, City Boys. City Boys. Mm -hmm. Internet Mikey. Internet Air. Come to, come to, come to, come to kick Simba to God. Yeah. Twitch. In that city it's, arcade. In that city. God damn. Damn, it's a lot of. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. done. I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, you know what to do. Yeah, find yeah. us where you find us. Yeah. <laughs> just look for us for real. But that's going to be the end of that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one, man. Peace.